canceled. The space race is going nuclear. Interim NASA Administrator and Transportation Secretary Sean Duffy expected to announce a fast-track plan to deploy a nuclear reactor to the moon by 2030. That's five years before China and Russia's joint plan to do the very same thing. Mills Hayes is here with those details. Okay, Mills, give us the latest and also what's at stake with being the first. Good morning, Marky. Details still very limited right now. Politico reporting that this is something that's been discussed before, but this new directive would set a firm timeline for the first time. The United States is one step closer to extended stays on the moon and to space exploration even beyond. Politico is reporting that Secretary Sean Duffy is going to announce plans to build a nuclear reactor on the moon. NASA had been working towards having a 40 kilowatt reactor on the moon, but Duffy's plan is reportedly to get proposals for a 100 kilowatt reactor to launch by 2030. Well, having nuclear power in space is really important for any human exploration beyond low Earth orbit because the moon has two weeks of day, but then it has two weeks of night. So you can't have solar power on the moon uh, unless you have some really huge batteries, right? Because you need a battery at nighttime like we have on this space station. It's been over 50 years since an American set foot on the moon, and this project would allow for more people to stay on the moon longer. A power source on the moon not only gives the U.S. a lunar foothold, it becomes a testing ground for exploration further than the moon. Duffy's timeline is years ahead of a reported Chinese and Russian mission to also build a nuclear plant on the moon. China would love nothing more than to beat us. If they can beat us to the moon, that sends a very powerful visceral signal to all of humanity that China's ahead of America. So they want to beat us to the moon. And if they win this next space race, then a lot of people are going to think, well, maybe that authoritarian system isn't so bad. So it's important that America not fall behind this race because the things we do on the moon are going to dramatically impact the things that were that happen here on Earth to the 8 billion of us that are down here on the planet. The announcement comes amid NASA's downsizing. About 20 percent of NASA's employees opted to leave the agency as part of Doge's referred resignation and voluntary departure program. Reportedly, the announcement will require NASA to appoint someone to lead the project and give those companies that are interested 60 days to submit their proposal. Thank you for watching. Subscribe below and download our News Nation app right now on your phone, and you will get fact based, unbiased news for all Americans.